Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Dynamo for Alias. Uh, today is going to be a, a rather short video. I'm going to show you how to send objects from Dynamo to Alias and from Alias to Dynamo. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to bake objects or geometry from Dynamo to Alias. Let's start with um, our Dynamo new scene. And uh, let's start by, I don't know, putting some random um, cubes or spheres. Let's go for spheres. Okay, sphere. Um, by best, by four point, by center point and radius. Okay, here's go. We have one sphere already here. Uh, let's let's make a, let's make a bunch of spheres. So we go. Uh, we need uh, points. Point by coordinate. And let's make uh, five random spheres. So random, random list. Amount five. And we don't want the same coordinates for X, Y, and Z, so we need to duplicate this. So to duplicate, you select it, you and you hold down Control and click and drag. And another one. Here we go. We have three, and um, they should be different values. Just double check real quick. Yeah, they are. And then we put uh, this one into Y X. And Z. So now we have ten and uh, five different coordinates. We put those into the radius, uh, into those points. Okay, as you can see, it's it's a little bit messy, but who cares? This is just an example to show you how to send geometry from Dynamo to Alias. So the node you've got to use is called Bake to Alias. It's uh, you can type Bake to Alias, and it just shows you right here, it's the only one. Or it's also available on the under the alias category on the library. So if you click and back to alias, output geometry to alias scene. And then all you've got to do is take the output and send it here. And as you can see, we have a little problem. There's a little warning. So let's see what the warning says. The workspace must be saved on disk. So this has to happen every time. So you have to save your uh, Dynamo file before uh, it can bake geometry to alias. Uh, this is uh, and this is made so that when you uh, save your uh, alias file, it's uh, there's a, a hard link uh, from the um, wire file to the Dynamo file. So let's go ahead and do that. Save onto my desktop and Dynamo tutorial. Okay, save. And as you can see, we had a quick progress bar and it it uh, baked five spheres. And let's go back to our alias. Okay, so at the moment, it looks like nothing happened, but if I um, press Alt-L, you, you can see that it has indeed sent or baked five spheres from Dynamo to Alias. So let's shape those real quick. And as you can see, we have five spheres. Uh, the tessellation settings are um, quite low, so this is why they're a little bit uh, not, so, not so sexy at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. And now, um, Let's try the other way, other way around. So let's um, let's delete these spheres and start a new Dynamo file. So let's zoom out a little bit. Restart the Dynamo tool. I've got it here on my marking menu. Boom, connected. Okay, now, um, oh, actually I've, I've made a mistake because if I want to send um, geometry from alias to Dynamo, I've got to create the geometry first. So let's do a um, big object, doesn't matter, spheres, or uh, hmm, let's put some cones, make it a little bit different. Right, put 
with one here. Do a big nothing. Dynamo again. Okay, so now let's show we have our uh, empty scene. And now we, we're going to use the select from alias node. Okay, so it pops in a little guy right here. And you just have to click the select button and it'll automatically switch to uh, the alias window like this. And now you are inside, as you can see, the Dynamo tool. You're still inside the Dynamo tool. And uh, we have selection filters here. So if you only want to send CVs, you click the CV radio button and you can click and drag and if you have CVs enabled and CVs inside your scene, it will only select the CVs and so on and so forth for the curve on, ed on surfaces and the edges. So right now we just want to do objects and I just have to click once to select the, uh, um, the, the, um, the cone that we've just created and click on the send button right here. It's it automatically deselected that selection. And now if I click show, oh, it's really big. So let's zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so there's, okay. So it there's two elements because uh, that cone right here is comprised of two NURBS surfaces. One of which is the plane at underneath and the other one, which is the uh, surrounding, uh, well, the, the shape around it. So, and, uh, and based on this, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of work with that, um, with, uh, with those surfaces. Hmm, let's say I'm only interested in the first one. So not the, the surrounding uh, conic shape right here. So I do a first, first item, here we go. Let's turn this guy off, preview off. So we only have our conic uh, pyramid, or I don't know what, what the exact geometrical term is. Anyway, we have that guy and let's, I don't know, let's uh, translate it, translate geometry. Boom. And let's put another slider. We're going to move it up. Okay. And um, let's say I'm quite happy with this result. Anyway, this is just for, uh, oh, actually let's do a little bit, something a little bit more fun. Okay. I'm going to show you an example. Uh, there are nodes called bounding boxes. Uh, bounding box. So it'll, it's going to give me the bounding box for the geometry. And based on off of that, I can, I can get the uh, height of that, of uh, that object. So uh, let's just do a, um, uh, I've got a geometry abs abstract bounding box, minimum, maximum. Okay. Okay. There's a there we go. We have those two lines, those two points, I mean. And let's say we want to extract the um, Z values of uh, these two points. Point. Okay, get the Z component of the point. We need two of those. One, one. And we want to make the, uh, calculate the difference. Z minus Y. And we might get a positive value. We might get a negative value. Okay, so uh, we got a little bit lucky here. Uh, we got a positive value, but just in case, let's just put an, an absolute node for a number. And this way, we are sure to get a positive value, which is 100. And now we're going to do create a list, which starts from zero and goes to an upper limit of, let's put that number fairly high, like 1000. And we want the step to be our absolute value right here. And we're going to call that uh, cone height, uh, not coin, cone height. I cannot type today. Here we go. And as soon as I click outside of that, it's going to give me an error. 
it needs uh, um, what is cone height. I haven't specified that, so I just feed this guy into this. And now I have a list starting from 0 to 1000 with steps of 100, which is this value. And now I put this into Z. And I, I, I haven't longest. Or maybe it's, hmm, there's a little bit of a problem. Ah, okay. Oh, I forgot to input the geometry. So let me go back to lacing auto. And obviously if I don't tell it um, which geometry to put in, it's not going to do anything, is it? All right, so. Yeah. There we go, that's a lot nicer. Okay. So, and then we're going to bake all of these geometries. We don't want the, f I mean, it actually includes the first one, as you can see here. Um, there's a little bit of a Z buffering um, at the bottom. But let's um, let's remove that. So we want uh, is it remove uh, drop items? We want to drop um, if the amount is a negative value. Items are removed from the end of a list. Okay, so we want a positive number then. List amount one. Turn off the preview of a preview of a previous node. Here we go. And then we're going to bake this list back to alias. So bake, same problem, I need to save. So control S, Dynamo tutorial um, two. Okay, now we're good. Took, you know, a fraction of a second. And if I switch back to alias, I have my 10 cones. Here we go. And if I shade those, you know, they're nice and good. And the cool thing is, if I close uh, the Dynamo tool and do a pick object or uh, a tr go into another tool, I'd always do pick object because it's the simplest one to remember, you will see immediately that the geometry that I have baked back from Dynamo to Alias are, uh, have construction history. And the cool thing about this is that now, even if I were to close Dynamo and do a pick object on my original cone, and let me just make sure that my um, uh, pivot point is at the bottom. Yes, it is. So if I were to, let's say, scale my original cone up, so I'm going to click and drag like this, and I'm still holding the button. And as soon as I release it, it does a little bit of dynamo magic, calculates the new height of the new cone, and sets um, as many cones as it needs to reach a certain height, which I've specified in my dynamo uh, script file. And if I do a pick nothing, obviously it picks nothing, Hist construction history is then restored to the um, supplementary cones. And the cool thing about this now is that, as you've noticed, I'm in my scale tool. I don't have the Dynamo tool open. I don't have the um, Dynamo window open either, but I can do a query edit and click on the um, cones with which have construction history like this. And if I wait a little bit, as you can see, the Dynamo tool opens and boom, here we go. All of my um, files, uh, my, my file is restored, is reopened. My, the contents of my select from alias nodes are still there. Nothing's been touched. I can go ahead and change it if I want to. We don't want to do that now because it's going to create, it's going to break our script, uh, but I can go in and say, hey, you know what? Uh, let's change the maximum height. Let's say I don't want 1000 because that's too much. That's too high. I want 500. So I go here, 500, click outside. Up, 
let me zoom out. So as you can see, it reduced the amount of uh, cones to, um, that it's baking back. And if I switch back to alias, alt-tab, here we go. And I can do this again and again and again. So this is, this is a, a really simple video uh, and a simple tutorial to show you how baking to alias and selecting from alias works. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please like, comment and subscribe. More, vi more videos will be coming about uh, simple patterning, uh, trimming and uh, other cool stuff about grills. Um, I'm working on a lot of stuff and um, uh, I'm excited to share the content with you. Bye.